Okie dokie. Now we're going to talk about modifying um, the categories that you use in your WordPress blog posts. So what we're going to do is go into your WordPress dashboard. So that's by going into your domain name forward slash admin and then typing in your username and password in the little box that appears on your screen and you'll end up in the dashboard. Then you need to click on either, just click on either the posts or the little down arrow here. And we need to click on categories. Okay, as you can see here, we have a category in here already. Now the uncategorized category is a default category that will appear um, regardless, okay? Now this is the default category at this stage and I always rename it. Um, I just think uncategorized just, just sounds really dodgy. So you might want to call it latest news as you can see I've done before. Now the category slug when you have your website set up properly, and if you're a client of mine, you will know what that is, um, the category slug determines what appears in the um, URL, which is this address at the top here, when someone visits um, a post that's within one of those categories, okay? Um, so I always leave it blank because when you do, it will, post, it will create a new one for you automatically. You can put a description in if you wish, you don't have to. Just update the category and you'll see that it has already created a slug, which pretty much just uh, makes it all lowercase and puts hyphens in between the words, okay? Um, now let's create something else. Um, category one. And we just go down and add category. Again, you can see I left the category slug blank, but it's automatically created one for me over here. And, and do the same again. And let's go. Now, I've created a subcategory here. Now, what I'm going to do is stick it under category one. Now, what that means is for example, you might have um, some categories of things you want to talk about that are similar and can be grouped together. So on one of my websites, for example, I have something about internet marketing tips. So under that, I've got other categories such as article marketing, social media, um, stuff like that. So um, any categories that can be linked together, it's probably better if you can put them under subcategories or under a parent category because what it does is, well it groups them together and depending on the theme you're using for your website, it will probably save you some space. <laughs> and I, yeah, you'd have to see it to understand. But anyway, we'll add the category and you'll see what happens. Okay, so you can see here it's created the subcategory there. Um, it's got a little um, category one dash subcategory three and it's actually created a subcategory three slug there. Okay, and that's categories. Um, I don't know if there's anything else I need to say about them except that they are great for when you are posting about specific topics. It helps people to find the topic you're talking about a lot quicker. So as I said, if you've got a website on internet marketing and you have a category called Facebook and someone wants to know as much as they can about Facebook, they will click on your Facebook category, okay? Um, so yeah, you can create as many as you like and in the next video, I will talk about how to apply them to your blog posts.